Hi everyone, I'm Stephan Holt and this is News for Now for Tuesday, September 3rd. Start with the weather. We've got another cold front on the way for Wednesday and that's going to bring a threat for strong storms across the tri-state late in the day. Wednesday it's going to be warm and muggy. We have high temperatures in the 80s. And then we're going to be watching for Hurricane Dorian as it approaches the region on Friday, bringing the chance of rain and some gusty winds. Let's talk a little more about Dorian. The storm was downgraded to a Category 2 hurricane today. People in the Carolinas now preparing for the worst as the storm slowly moves up the East Coast. Florida dodged a direct hit from the hurricane. People there now taking their hurricane supplies they stocked up on, and they're now donating that to the Bahamas, which was devastated by the storm. At least five people have been killed there, and about 45% of homes on two islands have been severely damaged or destroyed. Some incredible new video to show you tonight. The moment a tornado tore through a Long Island backyard last night. It was insane. It was just it was the scariest thing I've ever actually been in. You can see the wind rip that umbrella from the patio table, shattering the glass. The tornado traveled more than a mile and a half through Manorville. Winds reaching 85 miles an hour, bringing down trees. Luckily, no one got hurt. Investigators are looking into this fire at a marina in Babylon on Long Island. Flames jumping from one boat to the next. Part of Fire Island Avenue was shut down as smoke filled the air. We know one man suffered burns. A total of four boats were destroyed. After years of eluding police, the so-called holiday bandit is finally behind bars. Sam Sabatino is accused of breaking into more than a dozen apartments on the Upper East Side over the last decade, stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of jewelry. Police say the 81 year old targeted people who were out of town for the holidays. They say he changed his identity and even tried to destroy evidence. But police say when he tried to strike again this Labor Day, the NYPD was waiting for him. There were so many resources at my fingertips that I was able to use, especially uh, my co workers, people in other units helped out. It was just phenomenal. And finally, tonight, what would you do if you found $9,000 cash left behind on a commuter train? Well, that decision was easy for a Long Island Railroad conductor who found an envelope on the luggage rack. Jerry Savino turned that cash over to the MTA police who tracked down the money's rightful owner. Long Island Railroad officials say the passenger was shocked and grateful and thanked employees like Savino for their professionalism. And maybe if you're missing an AirPod, you might want to check with the MTA. Up next, News 4's Andrew Siff takes a look at all of the items lost and found. That's it for us tonight. Thanks for watching. I'm Stefan Holt.